The Delta COVID variant has been making headlines globally as countries adjust their policies to fight this emerging viral strain. Why is it so dangerous and which vaccines are proven to work against it? For Mosin News, reporter Stephanie Yang speaks to a virologist to get answers. Taiwan reported its first local cases of the Delta variant last week in Pingdong County. Central and local governments went on red alert, ramping up testing and vaccination at the outbreak's epicenter. Virologist Shi Xing Ru, director of Tsanggeng University Emerging Viral Infections Director, says that Delta can spread fast if it's allowed to take hold of a community. Based on the current available data, the variant is 60 percent more transmissible than the alpha strain first detected in the UK. According to the UK report, it becomes 60 percent more uh, in comparison of uh, UK variant in terms of transmissibility. And more deadly, it's not clear yet, but according to some data from Singapore, uh, the need of uh, oxygen mask and also the rate to ICU uh, become higher, so indicating it may be a more severe, more virulent strain. As far as symptoms go, what are the differences between the Alpha variant and the Delta variant? She says they're similar in that they both cause respiratory symptoms. She says the main difference between the strains is that Delta infects young adults and children more easily. Uh, it seems not too much difference for me. All are respiratory tract infection symptoms. For example, the fever, sore throat, uh, runny nose, pneumonia. But uh, I, I think younger people uh, got infected um, because of for alpha variant not so many young people got infected but uh, for the delta more younger people and even children got infected are the vaccines available in taiwan able to fend off the delta strain for astrazeneca there is a um, report in uk in scotland actually they compare um, BN, uh, BNT and uh, AZ vaccines. And it seems that um, the vaccine efficacy dropped from 92% to 79% for BNT vaccine and 73% to 60% for AZ vaccine. And uh, if you got two shots, it would, uh, it, uh, would have a better protection. But uh, um, even though the BNT vaccine seems the uh, protection efficacy is higher than AstraZeneca vaccine. But in terms of um, to protect hospitalization, both of them are very good and over 90 percent. Over the past weeks, the number of COVID-19 cases in Taiwan has slowly tapered off. The virologist says it's clear that Taiwan is bringing the outbreak under control, but the risk of another flare-up remains. Well controlled? Yes, I think that uh, it's under control uh, so far in Taiwan because there are only very, very few uh, cases of Delta variants. And um, I believe early detection is very important. Yeah, if we can detect it earlier and um, so we can um, contain it. So I would suggest, strongly suggest people, when you, uh, whenever you got some symptom for respiratory tract infection, such as sore throat or running nose or fever, just go to for PCR test. I think that vaccination is very important, but um, it seems not so easy. We get a sufficient amount of vaccine so far. So before reach the herd immunity, I think uh, early detection is very important. Uh, and also, of course, we should wear a mask, washing hands and social distance. She urges the public to get tested for COVID if they have symptoms and to continue to social distance, wear a mask and wash their hands. For most news, Stephanie Yang, Chen Bohan in Taipei.